Hello everyone, I am Kurnia Garwal, ACC affiliate and uh, this is for all the people who are giving AA and AAA exam tomorrow which is uh, Monday and this is a quick video I wanted to share with you for like last minutes small small tips that I wanted to give you specifically for audit. So first tip is for your time management in audit it is very important whether it is AA whether it is AAA it is very important to maintain your time because it is a discursive paper right you have to uh, see your time and work accordingly in your paper because uh, you may be in a position in which you are in a hurry at the towards the end of your paper because you are left with very little time so so follow 1.5 uh, minutes per one mark technique that means in double a when we are talking about the mcqs you are not taking approximately more than three minutes um, minutes per um, mcq that is for your audit so time management plays a very important role in papers like uh, AA and AAA which is like a discursive paper right then secondly I wanted to talk about substantive procedures I know most of you are scared of substantive procedures and you know you are looking uh, at you know you know so many students are just asking me how to approach them how to approach them so let's answer it in a simple very simple way so whenever you are writing your substantive procedures for anything be it trade receivers be it uh, re your revenue be it any anything you are writing your substantive procedures for you have to keep three things in mind when you are writing a line of substantive procedure what it what it is first of all your substantive procedure should start with what are you going to do so the answer should first answer that your line should give me is what are you going to review are you going to recalculate are you going to uh, review are you going to discuss with the management what are you going to do so this verb these all verbs are very important so our substantive procedure should always always start with a verb review recalculate discuss all of these verbs should be used this is the first thing that is that should be there in your uh, substantive procedures and then the second thing is what what are you going to review supporting documentation should be there are you going to review the supporting documentation are you going to review the samples are you uh, going to review the board minutes what are you going to review is the second most important thing that should be there in your substantive procedure like kya review karne wale ho right and third is why kyun karne wale ho why are you going to review the matlab jo aap apna supporting documentation review kar rahe ho why are you going to review that uh, you, you know your supporting documentation maybe to check the completeness maybe to check the check, uh, check the accuracy maybe to check the cut off or you know all of these words which you have done in your audit this i am talking about in relation to your double a paper as well as for the triple a students so these three questions what why how all of these three questions should be answered in your substantive procedures to get the maximum marks i have seen i have checked so many mocks uh, this time and most of the students do write the initial verb part they do write the you know supporting documentation kya review karne wale what are you going to review but they always forget why so in audit generally also the answer of why is very important now third most important tip i want to give you is then in the, that in questions like audit risks and procedures your uh, uh, test of controls your control deficiencies all of these two questions or any other questions mainly these two your answer should have the answer to why like for example if you are talking about an audit risk for exa for example uh, you know your uh, you know your uh, samples were checked were, were being checked by a sales clerk which is not okay because he is not qualified right so you have written he is not qualified he, this is a wrong treatment or whatever you have written your audit risk you have written the explanation also but i have seen so many students not writing the uh, answer to why why is it a risk ki kya ho sakta hai your independences can be affected your if it is a credit control means he is setting the credit limits for your customers maybe he is overly setting up the limits because of which there can be bad debts loss in revenue so these words your 
uh, impact on revenue your impact on profit this is very important words like overstatement understatement misstatement is very important use of ifrss and ias an explanation of those is very important like i've seen so many students referring to ias this this should have not been done in accordance to ias 16 but what does ias 16 tell you you have to in just a line you don't have to obviously give like explanations of ias 16 that's for the fr students but in one line you have to explain that ias 16 says this that is the reason this is an audit risk so these are few few small things which i think most of the students make mistakes in and i just wanted to come here and let you guys know uh, these small tips that you can keep in mind please work on your presentation in double a as well as triple a presentation uh, plays a key role in your exam uh, always uh, uh, you know uh, uh, leave spaces in between when you're writing your pointers in audit risk the table that you make in double a and then triple a formatting is very important for your professional marks your 20 marks are free with 80 if you work on that right presentation is very very important if the examiner sees that you have written like you know separate pointers he will get impressed and he may give you extra marks right so it is important to the, uh, uh, have an idea of that and then please just revise all of the ifrs and ias ones because in order to especially in triple a i think most usage is there so it is important that you you know revise all of the ifrs ones so that it just good gets freshened up so uh, if you are there in my uh, AA and AAA groups we have shared like a document in which full fledged IFRSs are there so you can just read that out if not you can comment down below I'll just add you to the group or you can also message us on our Instagram which is being ACC so all of these were like small tips specific to audit paper and uh, all the very best may your Monday be very very good and you come back to me saying that it was a very easy paper and uh, all the very best if you have any other doubts apart from these you are free to comment down below or also message us on our instagram page which is being acca and we'll happy to help you so best of luck for your exams and yeah see you next time